Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yep, here we are again. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Can you tell that I've been crying all morning? <laughs> I've been crying all morning. No, we're fine, guys. We're fine. We're fine. Wow, it has truly felt like millenniums since I filmed a video like this. I did do this video. Ooh, was that in my last house? That is dark. That house was also literally dark. There was no fucking light. It's like a log cabin in a horror movie. Anyways, I don't remember when or even if the last time I made this video. I made this video, right? Okay, there's a nod behind the camera. Good. Ooh. As someone who's on TikTok a lot, there are a lot, so many vile food combinations that people come up with that I said, enough. But I don't really know if they're vile until today. <laughs> I found five different <laughs> food combinations. Like, I don't. I feel myself getting angry already because food is something I take too seriously. Now before we get into this video, this video is not sponsored! How exciting! Well, never has anybody been so excited not to collect a check. Oh my god, I just feel like all I've been doing is sponsored videos and I also feel like all my videos just aren't funny or entertaining and everybody's tired of me and that I'm not funny. How did I start talking about this? Right. Oh yeah, my hair is blonde today. Um, I dyed it for a different video, which you guys will see in like a week or two. All right, I don't know why I'm still talking. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna try these and see what the fuck is up. What the fuck is good, Kyle? Is that a Vine reference? Yep. God, I just so badly want to be one of those bitches who makes Vine references so well. I can barely remember what I did yesterday, let alone what someone said in a 2014 Vine. All right, the first one I'm doing is the jalapeno stuffed uh, with cream cheese and Takis. I am sorry for shitting on these combos because this one does actually sound fire, but not as fire as my butthole is going to be as it exits my body. Let's do it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is straightforward. You cut open the jalapeno. We're de-seeding the vessel. And then we're just getting literally a spoon of cream cheese. Yeah, this is gonna make my butthole bleed. And then, we're, yep, shoving it in. All right, and then we're just stuffing Takis in it. Okay. So I have Takis, I have jalapenos, and then I have real ass cream cheese. So we're just gonna take this bitch. Gonna, all right, we're gonna de-seed. Hi, instead of, oh, booger, don't eat any of these seeds. I think you could actually die. Okay, so I would love a tutorial on how to de-seed. Hi, I'd like to go to Washington, de-seed. Uh, the bar is so low. I just have the fat fucking chode stuck in there now. It's not coming out. <gasps> oh, booger, stay the fuck away. I mean, do other fucking people really have this much trouble or am I just extra Caucasian? What the fuck? Alrighty, zero dark 30 hours later. I have this hollowed out and we're gonna just put some Laxative in. Well, honestly, when I was younger, I used to just eat raw cream cheese. Like, I would have taken this and just, Well, I haven't fingered anybody in fucking forever, but here I am fingering a jalapeno. <laughs> wow, that was so sad. Start to finish. That sentence was devastating. Now we're gonna take our gorgeous little... <laughs> we are gonna shove these little baddies. Alrighty, here we go. Oh my god, I'm like actually <laughs> so fucking nervous. I can't believe she's sitting right here. I've seen this TikTok so many times and thought, I would really love to try that one. And now I am. Anyways, Chris, just like when you had a crush on Esmeralda at age six and when you got to Disney World, she greeted you with open arms, you grabbed your tits, let's get into it. Hi, Houston. We have a fucking ginormous problem. Oh my god. My mouth is literally watering. It's like, give me more, bitch. This is not a sustainable practice. I mean, what the fuck are we doing here, guys? What the fuck? are we doing here? This is insane! Thank God I said insane loud enough to block out quite literally the loudest fart I've pushed out so far. Like, I thought this was gonna be super spicy. This was like spicy while not being spicy. What the fuck? Well, Philly cream cheese, <laughs> we meet again. I really thought we'd never, we'd never reconnect. Cream cheese spread? No, cream cheese spread those legs. <laughs> oh, this is like a straight up 10 out of 10. Although, I mean, I guess two of the ingredients are cream cheese and Takis. Okay, the next one. I'm really not happy about, but I do want to try it because I need answers. There's a TikTok where 
Let's just watch it. Okay, yep, putting mustard on watermelon. This is, oh my God, that's so much fucking mustard. How bad could this be? Everybody who I've seen does this likes it. Oh, okay, this guy just threw up. Wow, Chris, maybe watch him when you search weird food combos. This was the first video of the watermelon mustard I've seen someone have a negative reaction to. Granted, he put on so much fucking mustard. <gasps> um, I'm lazy, so I bought the pre-cut watermelon. There was also a TikTok trend I saw of people putting tahini on watermelon. I thought that was a normal thing that <laughs> people did on fruit. I mean, these colors don't even go together. All right, I'm doing... That feels generous. It's a dead watermelon. Why am I fucking scared? Okay. <gasps> I know what I'm doing! What? Okay, I don't feel like I put enough mustard on. Just like when I lived in New York and this clock would strike midnight, I'm doing two lines now. Mm. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I don't understand this at all. Put mustard on a tomato and eat it. Why you gotta do watermelon like that? Oh my god, at first I thought I was eating a hot dog, and then I was like, well, no, it's cold, and it also is watermelon. Ugh, fuck. And I mean fuck whoever came up with this. Oh, it's just not even good looking. Yeah, no, well, that's zero out of ten. So next up on this nonstop thrill ride, we have nacho Dorito chips dipped in marshmallow cheese sauce. Cause why not? Okay, so it's like literally putting marshmallows in cheese sauce, microwaving it. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Wow. <laughs> this one, I think could be decent. So I've got laxative number two of the day, cheese whiz. We're gonna, oh wow, this is Dairy Queen competition. Oh my God, my toilet is not ready for this jelly. And then we're just putting in some marshmallows. All right, so this is a sight I never thought I'd see in my lifetime, let alone yours. I mean, listen, I smoke a lot, a lot, okay? I'm not gonna hide anything. I have not ever once thought of honestly any of these, which I am disappointed when it comes to the jalapeno takis, but hopefully this microwave doesn't give me radiation and I just drop dead on the spot. <laughs> That would suck. All right, as if fake cheese couldn't look any faker. We're taking our party size, because nothing screams party like putting marshmallows and queso together. We're gonna get a nice, healthy serving size. Ooh, shut it the fuck down. Ooh, can you believe I gave this any sort of optimism? I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. It's not even gross, it's just like off-putting. Like you're like, oh, I'm eating queso with a Dorito dipped into it. And then you're like, hold up, is this a chocolate covered Dorito? I'll give this like a two out of 10. You know, like it wasn't that fucking watermelon bullshit. I'm done talking about it. It's I'm done giving my energy to this. No, and uh, yeah, it also just smells like straight up vomit. Honestly, I can remember a time my little brother ate pizza and then threw up in the car and it looked yeah, we all got it. Okay, next up we have pickles and peanut butter. Uh, all right, let's watch this. Pickles, peanut butter. All right, Felicio, wow. Is this the man behind all of this? Oh my God, you're just eating a <laughs> I don't know if I can do this one. I love peanut butter and I love pickles. What I don't love is this bullshit. So I have pickles in my fridge, but um, I really like those ones and don't want them ruined because of, no offense to that man, some fucking idiot on the internet. Not proud of this, when I was younger, I used to drink pickle juice. <laughs> Opening my GIF. What I'd like to do is piece out of this vid in a GIF. I was almost gonna say I kind of have hope for this one, but look where that fucking got me. Like what in the Jimmy Neutron? Got a blast. Okay. I feel like Kimmy Schmidt when she just got out of the bunker. I'm like, hello? Is anybody there? Where is everyone? What the fuck was that? I... I'm not taking a second bite to figure out my, my thoughts. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But I'd rather just have a pickle and peanut butter separate, 100%. Did that kind of taste like I was eating some kind of pad thai? Kind of. 
Yeah, kinda. I would probably give this like a six or a seven out of 10. Not because I'm like gonna eat it, just because like, it really wasn't brutal. I'm not gonna do this literally ever again. You will not catch me dead with a pickle and peanut butter. And if you do, that is the saddest way I went out. I could understand people eating this. No, I really can't though. Can I? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with like a six and a half out of 10 on that one. I am sorry to the person in that TikTok that I called an idiot. You were not as big of an idiot as the fucking watermelon person. Unless you also came up with that, <laughs> which in my case, idiot. All right, next up. Oh my God, last up. Never has this fat Caucasian ever been so fucking excited to end a video. Let me tell you, we are ending with strawberries or grapes dumped <laughs> in melted Jolly Ranchers with Pop Rocks on the outside. I think I'm making a mistake, but my hopes, incredibly high. Jolly Ranchers, 35 seconds, dip it in. Oh my God, this is going so fast. Okay, this seems pretty straightforward. Oh, see, I think this is gonna be bomb. This seems easy enough. What I don't think is going to be easy is cleaning out the bowl that I microwave these Jolly Ranchers in. So we've got to take some Jolly Ranchers. Oh my god, I have not had Jolly Ranchers in so long. So the Pop Rocks are strawberry, so I don't know what that means in literally any situation, let alone with using blue raspberry. I'm going to say fuck it and do blue raspberry. I'm a blue raspberry bitch. All right, I'm putting five in. We're going to 35 seconds this and then... Right? I don't know. Ooh, the microwave still smells like vomit. We're gonna take the grape and... Uh, I don't know who lied and said that this... This is gonna take out a tooth. Oh, okay, yeah. I've always wanted a lollipop in the shape of a foot. All right, we're gonna take some of these crack rocks and... Oh, I missed the entire grape. But they're crackling. Oh! Oh my god, they're like... Okay. If someone were to show 12-year-old me this freeze frame, I'd be like, officer, nope, that's not me. Well, 12-year-old Chris, guess what, bitch? <laughs> it is. Oh my god, ew, it has like wig hairs coming off. <laughs> okay, bitch, me too. Like, oh my god, I think I nailed this. It has like some terrestrial vibes going on, like Saturn who? Anyways, here we go. I think this is gonna break a fucking tooth. <laughs> oh. Ow. Oh. Okay, that was enjoyable. That was really enjoyable. I probably wouldn't do this again, mostly because this dried in 12 seconds, and now I literally don't know how I'm gonna get it out of the bowl. Honestly, if I wasn't so scared of becoming Jack Sparrow and losing three teeth, that would be like a 10 out of 10. But like, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because I'm a rational human being with a fear of losing their teeth. I think the best one I had was the jalapeno cream cheese talkie one. And then I would say the grapes. Then I would say the peanut butter and pickle, which is a fucking bizarre sentence. And holding down the bottom two spots for sure, which are now holding down my bottom spot, is uh, the Dorito marshmallow queso and the watermelon mustard. Kelsey and Cody did. They liked it? The queso. They, li they did the queso? They liked it? Wait, Kelsey and Cody liked the marshmallow and queso? They're not my friends any longer. Siri, call Kelsey Kreppel. <laughs>